you're new welcome back if you are not have I moved upstairs just to break up the monotony of starting every single video in the one room of the house that's done yes I have so I hope you like it up here if you saw last week's video you saw that both Tom and I were struck down by COVID it finally caught up with us but we are both feeling a ton better I'm still a little bit bunged up here and we definitely get tired more quickly than we used to like just walking up the stairs knackers me out a bit but overall we're feeling a lot better than the fevers and the shakes and the body aches that were last week so pretty much recovered having had a lot of time in bed over the last week tom and i kind of slowed it down on actually renovating and thought a little bit more about the jobs that we are still yet to do we bought this house november last year it's now october and although we did just start renovation in january we have almost had the house for an entire year so spending a lot of time in bed and really mapping out what the next stages of the renovation look like it really gave us an insight into how long this renovation is going to take. As I've said a thousand times, it's just me, Tom and Martin. Uh, we have a couple of trades here and there, but we're doing the vast majority of it ourselves. Tom and I do try and put some stuff in in the weekday evenings, but our jobs are very demanding. And so we're mainly just doing it one day a week on the weekend with Martin's help. And so things are moving very slowly. I'm not saying it's going too slowly at all. I think we're doing the absolute best we can, but we have realized we've got a hell of a long journey ahead of us. And as a result, some decisions have been made. Now, before I explain those decisions, a little bit of background. If you've been here for a while, you probably know this, but this house was actually bought with the money that Tom and I spent years and years saving to go travel the world. We handed our notice in at our jobs in January of 2020. Uh, we were both going to leave work in March of 2020 and we had bought one-way tickets to India uh, and that was it. We were going to travel the whole world, but of course COVID stopped that plan in its tracks and this is what we've done instead. Uh, we've got a mortgage, we've spent every penny of our life savings and we're doing this and we have no regrets whatsoever. But I think we realized that going and traveling and seeing the world is still number one priority. Now it doesn't need to happen right now. We are absolutely okay with finishing up this house and once it's finished, we are going to live in it for a while. I want to enjoy it after all the work we've put in, but we do want to go at some point in the next two years. That's kind of the deadline we've given ourselves to hand our notice in, one way ticket, go see the entire world for a couple of years. But there is no magic money part. So the longer that this house is being renovated, the longer it is until it's done and we can start saving up again for the next big thing, which will be traveling. And the more money that we're pumping into this house, the longer it's gonna to take to pay back or the more we're going to owe at the end of it. And so we started really, really thinking about what are the things at the house that are absolute essentials. Now the loft conversion was always an absolute essential. It's turned from a two bed house to a four bed house, which is both brilliant for us if we do ever choose to have a family. And it's brilliant from a rental perspective because you can get more people in the house and there's more space for people in the house. And then we started to think about what are the things that are nice to have or what are the renovation things that we have been planning to do to this house when really it should probably be reserved for our forever home or our dream home or even for this home when we get back from traveling and we decide we want to be in here for another five or ten years and so with that very long initial explanation i am basically trying to tell you that we have decided not to do a kitchen extension i'm going to sound like such a brat right now um but it it honestly was a very very difficult decision to make because anyone who knows me or Tom knows that our lives revolve around food. We have a street food business, we love to cook, we love to entertain, not that we've done it in a year and three months given the state of this house, but the kitchen really is the heart of the home for Tom and I. And we did have really big plans for the kitchen and the extension and we were super excited about it, but We've done some modeling in the Ikea kitchen planner. We've taken a look at other people's kitchens on Instagram. We've taken a look at other homes in the area that have been renovated without a kitchen extension. And it's absolutely possible. Also, the kitchen extension was weighing pretty heavily on my heart. That's not the phrase, that's way too dramatic. It was, it was feeling very stressful. It was kind of like this new 
territory that neither of us had ever done. It would involve putting a beam into the back of our house, knocking out the back wall of our house, which supports the floor above and also that brand new loft conversion. So it was pretty stressful, particularly for Tom, who does all of the planning and all of the DIY and sources the materials and everything like that. And to do it completely DIY would have been about 20,000 pounds. To save us the stress of doing it and getting someone in would have been about 50 to 60,000 pounds. So we basically looked at it like this. Not doing the kitchen would save us at least six months in renovation time, at least 20,000 pounds, probably more in terms of cost. And honestly, a lot of stress and ambiguity and responsibility on top of everything else that we're already doing. So now that we've made this decision, it honestly does feel like a weight has been lifted. I know that sounds really, really dramatic, but if anyone's done a renovation, particularly a complete DIY renovation, I think you know that feeling of just panic when you've got way too much on your plate. And so we feel really, really good about this decision. I hope that Anyone who is excited can understand why we're doing it um, and I hope that you're still excited to see what we do do with it and it's kind of the benefit because it means we're going to be doing the actual kitchen, the renovation, picking the cabinets, doing the before and after much, much more quickly than we were before. So I hope you can be excited. I hope you enjoyed that little update. I've been rambling for a really long time. Now we can get stuck into some actual renovating. running the wire along the floor joist to install the new plug socket in the living room. So what I'm doing right now is chiseling away at the bricks. It can, some of the bricks, especially in the Victorian houses, are really that rock solid. What I've done is drill a few holes and then it just means I can chisel away a lot easier to make the gap like that. We have it, a new plug socket, which will be used for our TV, PlayStation, whatever we want to plug in there. So that's one new plug socket installed. Next on the list is with the existing plug sockets to have them flush against the wall, because currently they are poking out, which I don't really like that much. So while we're doing a renovation, we may as well have them completely flush against the wall. So that's what's next on the task. So I have two to do, and then we'll add a couple more sockets in the dining room. were a lot tougher than I thought to break through um, and definitely took way much longer than I thought it would have but finally we've got one in got another two or three to go today so but I'm gonna have a little break now maybe a little coffee or something because yeah banging on bricks it, it does take it out of you but I'll show you the end result right now doesn't look too glamorous but we've got the junction box in and then the wire can go down here so basically you're just gonna unscrew this connect it into there and then when the plasterer comes, he can plaster all back in and it'll be flush with the wall. So trying another technique for number two for the socket. So drawing it, make sure it's level, gonna drill loads of holes round. And this trick is from Martin. And I've also brought in the big guns as well. I think using a power tool will help with this. So let's see if I take out half the wall or just a small socket I need. Okay, power tools are the way to go. So it took me about an hour to do the other one. And this is me with one minute of using the power tool. I've near enough made the hole already. So, a lesson learned, always go for the power tools. I don't know why I didn't think to use a power tool. I just thought maybe it was just a bit too much of an impact on the wall, but yeah, definitely power tools are the way to go. So yeah, this is gonna be rapid now. I'm gonna do all three within the space of me doing one by hand. So if you've got the power tools, 
just use a power tool. So much easier. Two minutes later, another box installed. So after our latest revelation that we're not doing an extension anymore, I'm actually so excited. I think the house is gonna get done so much quicker now. So what I'm gonna to do today is just to demolish that disgusting lean-to outside. You get rid of that, start planning the doors, where that's gonna go and making like working out the levels we need it. Cause right now there's a step down and then there's a, a step up. So what I wanna do now is demolish the lean-to and get rid of the flooring. And then I'll be able to access the old clay pipe. And then I'm gonna use one of these. It is a plastic to clay um, connector, so then we can connect our new soil pipe into the existing drain. So much less work than moving the drain. I feel so motivated right now. Let's get cracking. I already got a little bit excited um, and whacked a mallet into the side. I don't think that's the best approach for doing this. What I'm going to do first is just clear everything out, chuck this in a lovely dumping ground, and then just gives more space for us to demolish and then demolish this rock solid floor as well. So I need to work that out next. So, Tom's found his way to the pipe underneath. And this is the current situation of our back garden. <laughs> it's so terrible. One of the perks, however, of the change in our current plan is that our garden is going to be, by London standards, massive. And although we don't get the best weather in the world, I am very excited for next summer when I'm assuming the garden will be finished and we can really enjoy it. So hopefully what we'll be doing this weekend is connecting the new plastic uh, soil pipe into the old existing one. So then we can get rid of this old soil pipe and then also tear up the first floor bathroom and get cracking on that as well. At the moment we're not allowed to do poos in the nice bathroom. <laughs> or use toilet paper. To show what the, the current setup is. So we have a plastic bag covering the current soil pipe and it going into the drain niche this way. So in a lot of Victorian houses, it seems like all their wastewater go into their, where their surface water is going, which I don't think is right. So what we're gonna do is use a new plastic soil pipe and then just kept connecting all our shower uh, and all, any wastewater into that. So we can go into the actual public sewer and not the, wherever the surface water goes. Um, but yeah, if you, if you guys know why that is, I'm sure that's not allowed and it shouldn't be done, but looking at all the other houses, they all seem to do the same where all their wastewater, apart from the toilet, goes into the surface water drain. What have we got? Got the one vino. What have we got tonight? Of course it's a Merlot. Always Merlot. I'm a Merlot. It's not the one I wanted to pick, but I didn't think we had a bottle opener, so I had to go with the screw top. What's it called? Oh God, no. It smells bad. Oh no, it, it's called Devil Valley. Promising. I didn't, I didn't my phone either, so I can even- um, You can't even... Vivino. you're not allowed oh, to no, Vivino. No, no, no. So just for some context, what Tom and I have been doing is we've got a corner shop near our house and we now have a rule, even though there's a bunch of red wines in there that we know we like, we have a rule that we have to buy a different one every single time and we're going to keep a note app on which ones we like and which ones we don't. We've had a good streak so far. We've not had anything bad yet, but from the smell of things, Tom might have brought home our first dud bottle. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too confident on this one. Also, Tom broke <laughs> our one other wine glass while washing up this morning. So, we're drinking out the mug? I'm drinking out the mug. I feel like I've got a... Oh, but you did do the washing up. Okay, fine then. Rock... No, no, no! Rock, no, paper, scissors! You said it if I do... Oi! Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Best yes! Best no! Best <laughs> you should have said that no, first. Come on. You should have said that first. Take the risk. Take the risk. Please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come Give on. me the wine. Come on. Come on. <laughs> It is a very sunny Saturday, as you can probably see. We've got Tom in the background. He's been digging away. This is the plan today. So you might have seen that previously Tom was 
rigging all of this up. I don't know how dark the screen is, but basically we need to get below this pipe so that the new soil pipe for the bathroom can come down around and link in with the old one. Is that factually correct? Yeah, that's correct. Nice. Let me get rid of this ugly one. Because the toilet, which is currently here in the bathroom, is moving around the corner to be coming out of there. So, Tom is on digging duty. I am on picking up said dirt and throwing it to the side duty. That was English. And um, we should have this done how long? I'm gonna say an hour. An it's hour? It's not gonna take an hour, I hope. But I think we should always over egg it because. We've learned. Yeah, manage expectations. Let's get to it. We've obviously got this main soil pipe here. We're now just going in from the side and trying to dig down as far as we possibly can down there. This has concrete, so we really can't damage that. So we're going in from the side, digging deep, and then we're gonna try and get in sideways to see where that pipe is. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Yes. So satisfying. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so there's been some pretty interesting uh, to some people, <laughs> probably not to most people. Stuff happening in the background here. Tom's been digging it, whoa. I actually didn't realize that would be gone. <laughs> We're officially toilets right now. Okay, so this is why I was just shocked. That whole pipe that was there is gone. So what we need to do is connect this onto there. As you can see, this is not big enough for the pipe. So to get that pipe to fit, we obviously need to get rid of this bit, that was not a fart, uh, this bit over here that, uh, I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but basically this is a lot thicker than this part of the pipe. So Tom's just chipping away all of the concrete here, and then we can remove this bit so it'll fit. <laughs> Looks so ridiculous. to race against the clock. Autumn really needs a poo. <laughs> so we've just got to get the pipe up to the bit of pencil line. Wow. It's done. It's right. done. Should I flush? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did not think there would ever be a day where I'd be flushing a toilet on camera, but here we are. And with that, the upstairs bathroom is 100% complete. Fully plumbed, fully done, ready to be used every single day. And uh, we are very happy with that. We can finally wave goodbye to that blue bathroom until the point we get around to that room of the house. But that is it for this week. As always, if you have enjoyed, particularly if you enjoyed a little bit more of Tom's building instruction, please do remember to give this video a like. And if you would like to follow along for the future of this little renovation, hit the subscribe button. We upload videos every single Wednesday. And we've got some pretty exciting stuff to come. We're going to have a shower, settle into bed, grab a tea, and just enjoy our evening from here on out. So thanks for making it this far, and we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.